You're listening to Mana for the Day. Recently po ay nakapagbakasyon po muli kaming mag-asawa sa Philippines. At salamat po sa Lord sa isang masayang bakasyon. Habang nagbabakasyon po kami sa Pinas, isa po sa na-observe ko na madalas po namin ginagawa ay yun pong mag-connect sa Wi-Fi. Somehow, naging necessity na rin po ito sa amin habang nandun po kami. Kaya na-remind po ako na napakahalaga po talaga ng koneksyon sa araw-araw na buhay po natin para makapag-communicate at magawa po natin yung mga iba pa nating task. Pati na rin po sa spiritual lives natin, napakahalaga po to stay connected. Hindi po sa internet kung hindi sa Lord. The Bible tells us to abide or to remain in Him. Let's read John 15 verses 4 to 5. Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine, so neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him, he bears much fruit, for apart from me, you can do nothing. Based po sa binasa natin, we are to abide or to remain in Christ. Ginamit po ng Lord na illustration, yung vine and branches. For the branches to bear fruit, The branches should abide in the vine. Tayo daw po yung mga branches na dapat na manatili sa ating Panginoon, who is the vine. Apart from Him, we can do nothing. We will not bear fruit. According to the Discovery Bible, the Greek word translated fruit sa verse na to is karpos, which means everything done in true partnership with Christ, as a believer lives in union with Christ. So how do we remain in Him? Ano po kaya yung mga practical things na pwede po natin gawin to remain intimate with God? Para po mas madali po natin matandaan yung action points po natin, gamitin po natin yung word na Wi-Fi. Para mas madali natin matandaan kung paano tayo mananatiling connected sa ating Panginoon. So let's look at three points. So W stands for Word of God. I stands for Intimacy with God. And then the letters F-I stand for focus on what's important. So first, the Word of God. The Bible is the primary way used by God to reveal Himself and His will to us. Ito po yung spiritual food natin. Jesus said in Matthew 4.4, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Abiding in God means abiding in His love. And John 15.10 says, We will abide in His love if we keep His commandments. We need to be doers and not just hearers of His word. Alam din po natin na it is only by His grace that we can obey His word. Salamat din po sa Lord because His word is powerful. It is living and active. Hebrews 4.12 sa Matthew 4 po, Word of God ang ginamit ni Jesus to fight temptation. Even the psalmist in Psalm 119 understood the power of God's Word. Psalm 119.11 says, I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Joshua 1.8 also says, Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. The second point is intimacy with God or malapit na relasyon sa Panginoon. Sa mga relasyon po natin sa kapwa natin, masasabi po natin na close po tayo sa isang tao kapag nakakasama po natin siya ng madalas or kung malayo man siya physically, may regular na communication pa din po sa isa't isa. May i-apply din po natin ito sa relationship natin sa Panginoon. For us to be intimate with God, we need to regularly spend time with Him. Gusto po nating bigyang diin yung pong consistency po natin sa mga devotion or quiet time natin. Kaya let's ask God for grace na patuli po nating itong magawa araw-araw. The third point is focus on what's important. Nasabi po natin yung importance ng Word of God and pursuing intimacy with Him. However, we live in a generation na napakarami pong distractions. Nandyan po ang social media, entertainment, yung pong mga alalahanin natin, at marami pang iba. At kapag hindi po natin nabantayan ang mga sarili natin, we can lose focus. And recently po, na-realize ko po na kahit po pala ang bakasyon, pwede rin maging distraction. 
Kasi yung isip po occupied ng bakasyon or bonding with family, kaya mas tempting po to be less disciplined or ma-miss out po yung mga daily reading and devotion. Kaya po during our vacation, I had to constantly remind myself to not lose focus, to not be distracted. At applicable po ito sa ating lahat. We have to constantly remind ourselves to focus on the most important thing, our relationship with God. So again, by the grace of God, let's abide in Him. Manatili po tayong connected sa ating Panginoon by reading, meditating, and obeying His Word, by pursuing intimacy with God, regularly spending time with Him, and by reminding ourselves in the midst of all distractions to focus on what's important, our relationship with Him. Let's pray. Father God, we confess that apart from You, we can do nothing and we are nothing. Help us, Lord, to remain in You. May we know and love you more through your word. We give you all praises and worship. In Jesus' name, amen. And that was our mana for the day. Subscribe and follow our social media accounts for more content and be updated with Marine Christian Fellowship.